Hello and welcome to Edward 12 Linux Distribution Review. Today we're going to review Zorin 5 Ultimate Edition. I already have it open. Ta da! We have it open. Um, I've done the base install and the updates for you so you don't have to do all that. I will create another video showing you how to do this by creating another virtual machine. Basically, in accessories, you get activity journal, calculator for all calculating needs, cover Galubus, which displays are now playing on your desktop. You get a docky, which is the finest docking no money can buy. You get help, you get P PDF mod, you get quick synergy, which is synergy. Search for files, take screenshot, terminal, text editor, time and date, tomboy, virtual box, X journal. Under games, you get arcade, you get airstrike, extreme touch rater, fret on fire, frozen bubble, never ball, never put, next weeks, super tux, and warm ups. And you get all them. And under graphics, you get blender, di diagram editor, GIMP, which is the best image editor that Linux has, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Scrubs. Shotwell Photo Manager and Simple Scan. And internet, you get empathy for your instant messaging, evolution for your email, give a file sender for quick, easy file set sharing. Personally, I've never used that. Gobby Collaborative Editor, which is edit files. Chrome, Chrome access the internet. Weber, which is a social uh, client for Twitter and Facebook. Internet Browser Manager, which helps you install new browsers or choose which browser you want to use as default. You can install Firefox, uninstall Chrome, install Opera or do Midori, whichever takes your fancy. Uh, you've got your fancy desktop effects, you've got your compis, you've got your desktop cube, da, 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 da. and you've got, and back onto this, under system tools you've got Deja Dump Backup, DVD Disaster, Neo Backup, Ubuntu Tweak, Zorin Background Plus, Zorin Internet Backup, Browser Manager, which I've just shown you, Zorin Look Changer, Zorin Splash Screen Manager, and for this one, you can install Python themes for what loads up when um, when you boot the system before you get into the Login Manager. And let me show you there under Wine, you've got Configure, Play on Linux, Wine Tricks, and Uninstall Wine Software Accessories. You've obviously got Notepad that comes with Wine. Under Sound and Video, you have Xine, VLC, Transmageddon Video Transcoder, Sound Recorder, you get OpenShot, Mix, Movie Player, Miro, MeTV, Caden Live, Kazam Screencaster, which I'm having issues with because it just pauses the video after 8 minutes, Jokershow Audio Editor, ISO Maker, No Mem Player, DVD Styler, Cheese Webcam Booth, Brassero Disc Burner, Banshee, Audacity, Arista Transcoder, Amrock, and Acid DVD Ripper. Programming, you've got Composer and Office, you have all your LibreOffice and you've got your Dictionary, Dexter, Project Management, WM Bank. Um, overall, you need about 15.3 gig to install. The install takes quite a while. The updates is about 353 as of today. They could take some time. You will get an error message on the Mars, which is just basically the Chrome game thing which is not related to Chrome but it's called Chrome under Arcade um, sorry under MARS which is an, a ridiculous shooter there's an issue with the update I will show you what I, what I mean in fact we don't need a Ubuntu software center we need update manager as you can see there's a the fancy effects and it's about 10 euro which is about 12 dollars or six pounds this music file for Mars which never seems to update the only way to get around that is to open a terminal control lot T doesn't want to work I never remember that being accessories uh, do move that over do sudo apt get update upgrade my like upgrade dash dash 
think it's just dash F on, on Ubuntu. Yes. And let's have a look to see if it's changed on Ubuntu Software Manager. Let's dock it so I don't have to keep doing this. That's what I did when, I did, when I've got it running on my other. Pin to dock. There you go, you've just got Kazam, which for some reason won't let you tick it. But this is my little review on Zorin OS. I would highly recommend it, especially if you're transitioning from Windows to Linux. It is an Ubuntu based distribution, it's quite hefty on the download size, it's quite hefty on the install size, but it does run quite quick. I will show you how much it is running on my allocation of one CPU out of my total of eight when I go to system monitor. It is running about five percent, six percent, but same as same as the Comise, but without all the hassle, and you get all the fancy effects. And it's using just under five hundred, pretty much just over four hundred meg of RAM out of two gig. So if you've got about eight gig of RAM, you probably only use just over a gig. But anyway, this is my review, and I hope you like it. And subscribe to the next video. And if you want, you can like, comment, and like I said, subscribe.